Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? What we have here is what we have a raised to power n plus n. This same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. And here we have 4 raised to power x times 4 raised to power 1 n plus. Also, here for this one, we have a raised to power n minus n. Same thing as a raised to power n. Over a raised to power n, that is, yeah, also can write as 4 raised to power x over 4 raised to power 1 equals to 30 on this side. Then, this is the same thing as 4 raised to power x times 4 raised to power 1, that's 4, then plus. Also, we can write as 4 raised to power x times 1 over 4 raised to power 1, which is 1 over 4 equals to 30 on this side. And here we have 4 raised to the power x comma. When we factor it out, we have 4 raised to the power x into brackets. 4 plus 1 over 4 left here. Close bracket equals to 30 on this side. Then here this is 4 over 1. When we bring it together as one fraction, we have 4 raised to the power x into bracket. The SCM here gives us 4. The 1 in 4 that's 4. That's still 4. Here we have. 4 times 4 give us 16, then plus. Same thing here, 4 in 4, 1. 1 times 1, that's 1, close bracket, equals to 30 on this side. That is, and here, this becomes 4 raised to power hex times 16 plus 1, that's 17, and over 4. Is it equals to 30 on this side? Which is equals to 30, actually. And next step, let's remove this 17 over. 4 and we multiply by the reciprocal that is multiply both side by 4 over 17 that is this side also by 4 over 17 which implies this we cancel each other and we are having 4 raised to power x equals to 30 times 4 over 17 here and from here we take the log on both sides that is here we have log 4 raised to power x equals to log 30 times 4 over 17. Then here we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. That is here, this becomes x log 4 equals to log 30 times 4 over 17 then yeah this follows when we have log a times b over c we can rewrite this as log a plus log b minus log c or log logarithm and also what we have becomes x log 4 equals to log 30 plus log 4 minus log 17. The next step here and divide through by log 4. At this divide both side, divide this side by log 4, also divide this side by log 4. At this here, we have log 4 cancel each other. Then x left here, which is equals to log 30 plus log 4 minus log 17 over log 4. Then when we separate this into three fractions, we have x now equals to log 30 over log 4 plus log 4 over log 4 minus log 17 over log 4. And here log 4 cancels each other. We have one less. That is, we can have x equals to 1 plus log 30 over log 4 minus log 17 over log 
four. The next step here, you can write 30 as two times three times five. And here we have x now equals to one plus log two times three times five over log four then minus log seventeen over log four. Then from the law of log room here, you can write this as x equals to one plus log two plus log three plus log five over log four minus log seventeen over log four and also here we separate this into three fractions and we have x equals to one plus log two over log four plus log three over log four plus log five over log four minus log seventeen over log four then next step here four can be expressed as two times two that's two square and all we have becomes x equals to one plus log two over log two squared plus log three over log two squared plus log five over log two squared minus log seventeen over log two squared. And we apply the power of logarithm here. Two comes here, also here, then from here, and also here. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 2 log 2 plus log 3 over 2 log 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 minus log 17 over 2 log 2 then here yeah, log 2 cancel each other we have 1 over 2 left that is x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 then plus also we can write as 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2 plus 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2 minus 1 over 2 times log 17 over log 2 that is yeah 1 plus 1 over 2 same thing as 1 over 1 over 2 which is the same thing as 3 over 2 then yeah we have x equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 3 Base 2, on change of base, now well, we have log A over log B, which is the same thing as log A to base B. Then also here we have plus 1 over 2, log 5, base 2, and minus 1 over 2, log 17, base 2. Now when we bring this together as one fraction, we have x equals to the SCM here equals 2. This here becomes 3 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 17 base 2. And the value of x here we have 3 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 17 base 2 all over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 3 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 17 base 2 
all over two. Then what we have here becomes four raised to power three plus log three base two plus log five base two minus log seventeen base two all over two and we have plus one then plus also four raised to power three plus log three base two plus log five base two minus log seventeen base two all over two then we have minus one up here is it equals to 30 on this side then yeah you can bring this together as one fraction we have four raised to power the SCM up here now that's two and this is t3 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 17 base 2 then plus 2 here yeah. then we also have this we bring together as one fraction as well we have plus 4 raised to power the SCM up also that's 2 and we have 3 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 17 base 2 then minus 2 now is this equals to 30 on this side that is here we have 3 plus 2 that's 5 this is going for is to power 5 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 17 base 2 then plus 4 raised to power here we have 3 minus 2 that's one we have 4 raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 17 base 2 then is equals to 30 on this side that is here when we apply the law of indices actually we have over two here we can rewrite four here as two square that is we have two square raised to power five plus log three base two plus log five is two minus log seventeen is two all over two then plus also here we have two square raised to power one plus log three base two plus log five base two minus log seventeen base two all over two is this equals to thirty on this side then here this part cancel each other here we are left to two raised to power five plus log three base two plus log five is 2 minus log 17 is 2 then plus also this cancel each other we have 2 raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 17 base 2 is equals to 30 on this side then here yeah, this follows the law of indices and we can write this as 2 raised to the power 5 times 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2 times 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2 then divided by 2 raised to the power log 17 base 2 then plus also we have 3 raised to the power 1 times 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2 times 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2 then over 2 raised to the power log 17 base 2 then is equal to 30 on this side then yeah 2 raised to power 5 2 multiply is 5 plus is 32 then times here yeah. this following we have a is to power log b to base a the same thing as b and this here we have 3 and times 5 over here we have 17 now then minus plus also here we have 2 raised to power 1 that's 2 times here we have 3 times 5. Then over 17 is equals to 30 on this side. That is, 
Yeah, we have 32 times 3 times 5 give us 480 over 17 and plus 2 times 3 times 5 we have 30 over 17. Is this equals to 30 on this side? Then, yeah, can bring this together. SCM that's 17. We have 480 plus 30 that's 510. Is this equals to 30 on this side? And 510. Over 17 give us 30, which is equals to 30 on this side. At this left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 3 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 17 base 2 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, your comment. See you next lesson. Bye for now.